Hey, what's up, guys? It's gonna be a how to video for uh, Cool Models 49. I mentioned I was gonna put spark plug boots on the duster, and he asked me how I'd done that. Um, to be honest, I can't take credit for this video. I actually saw somebody else do it a while back. I don't remember who it was. Um, honestly, I don't even remember if they've done it the exact way I'm doing it. But here's how I'm gonna do it. I've already got seven of them built. That's what they're gonna look like. All right, what I'm using, I uh, bought some armature wrapping wire at AutoZone. You get three rolls of this for, uh, I think it was around 14, 15 bucks. There's enough here to use a spark plug wire to do a million models. <laughs> There's green, red, and copper. I use the copper a lot for brake lines and stuff, actually. Um, it's also thermoelectric coated. So it's armature wire, so you can paint these any color you want. The paint really doesn't come off of it. I'm also going to be using 22 aug wire. Again, I got a three pack of green, red, and black. That's 22 AWG, 22 aug. I'm um, going to be using the black this time. It has a hard inner core in it. Here's the piece I've been using. Uh, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I've already got seven of these built. But here's how I do it. Just take your razor, set it on it. Uh, I can't get this to roll. <laughs> Let's see here. Anyway, you would roll the razor over this. Just get the uh, wire roll. Let the razor just barely nick the, the coating and then slide it off. Alright, so I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so I've got it cut now, trimmed. Let's see if I do this with one hand. Um, usually it comes off really easy. <laughs> one hand, I'm having a little bit of problem doing this. There it is. One piece come off. Now I'll just cut a piece of that green wire from the armature wire. Um, I usually cut it a lot longer than what I'm going to need it. But I'll get that cut and get everything set up and show you what the next step is. Okay, so I got it cut, got my wire cut. The next thing I'm going to do is use my helping hands here. And I'm just going to clamp this boot in. Uh, Alright. Here's the piece of wire that I cut. I'm just going to take a little glue. Coat the wire. Actually, that end's bent. Use the other end. Alright, then just shove it into the boot. Give it a couple of seconds to dry. You're ready to go. Okay, so the next thing I've done is drill holes in the motor. See there uh, where the spark plugs would go. I started out with a one six or a uh, one thirty second inch bit. I've got one of these little drill tool kits that, if you don't have one, I suggest they work, work great for modeling. They stay sharp. Uh, they're pretty tough. About eight dollars a pack, but they're well worth it. But I worked from uh, 1 seconds to 3 64th and then up to the 1 16th inch hole. And the 1 16th on this 22 aug wire, as you can see, it fits right in the hole. So all I'll do now is take a drop of glue, put it in the hole, and then set my spark plug boot in place. And when it dries, you know, pull it out wherever I want it and allow it to dry. So when I come back, I'll have all these installed. Okay, so there's all the plug wires installed. See the boots sticking out. And you would do the same thing on the distributor if the distributor is big enough. I've had problems with a lot of distributors uh, being too small. I've only been able to do this a couple of times with the boots on distributors. This one actually has two electric coils on the back of the motor here and right over here. And I'm going to be well, I'm about to attempt to put boots on those, actually. Uh, it may not work. Don't know. But if it does, you guys will see it in just a second. Alright, so there's what the final thing looks like. Uh, I actually use plug wire separators on this one. For the first time, I've never used them before. I've had them for a while. They're just so tiny that they were not easy to use at all. But they look pretty good. Uh, the back, I was not able to get boots on. I was going to be hitting the firewall of the car, so I just had to glue them in place, paint it black, and you won't be able to see the back anyway, so it'll work out. Anyway, I hope this video helped. Uh, show you how to guys get the plug, plug boots on your wires. Take it easy.